So as Jay Hook mentioned, there's, you know, there's really a lot of content, 35 minutes. I mean, it would be very difficult to, to, to completely cover the tools. I'm going to focus on, on the GPU functionality of, of VTune Profiler and Intel Advisor. But even then, 35 minutes, um, I'll, be, I'll be able to give you a taste of, of, um, of what the tools can do. The, the breakout session later, you know, I'll, 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 I will focus on, the, on a demo in, in, in that session. And you can feel free to follow along or, um, or just, or just um, or, or go through everything by yourself. But, but definitely, if you feel like following along, you, you, you can do that as well. So let's get started. So uh, we'll cover an overview of VTune um, and then go into the specifics of uh, VTune Profiler for GPU. And then we'll go into Advisor and show um, some of the main features of Advisor, which are, I mean, for GPU, there are um, offload modeling and um, GPU roofline um, in, in, in Advisor. So, so that's basically our agenda. So, so where do these, what do these analyzers really fit in? So when you, when you look at the ecosystem of, of GPU programming, you know, there's a lot of uh, developers who have, who have existing CUDA code and, and that's been around for, you know, a long, long time. You have people who are doing new coding. Um, you have, you know, existing C++ and you have tons of Fortran developers out there. Um, this is basically the, the HPC ecosystem. You know, and of course we have existing OpenCL applications. So when you think of the first feature of Advisor called Offload Advisor, so what that can do is it can basically try to try to predict how your CPU code would perform on a, on a given GPU. It has a, lot, it has a lot of performance modeling features built in to basically find the kernels in your CPU code that would, would be profitable on a GPU. So that's basically in a nutshell what Offload Advisor is. So once, once you've made the move to GPU, we also have features inside of, um, inside of VTune and Advisor. Uh, we have our GPU roofline feature. We have our uh, flow graph analyzer feature, which can basically do kind of do a dependency analysis of, of, your, of your kernels as, as they're running. But we also have, we also have the, v, the VTune features, which, which support the, um, GPU. And, and I'll go into all of that. And feel free to ask questions as, as we go along. I know we only have 30 minutes, but, but I, but I and, and actually maybe um, the Slack channel and uh, in the breakout session might be a better place for questions. So how do these, these two tools compare just side by side? You know, VTune has been around for, you know, for decades and, and many of you have probably used VTune over the years. But again, for GPU, we've, we've, really, we've really been doing a lot of extensions to try to support Intel GPU. And that's what, that's what we'll focus on today. So on the left-hand side, we have our Intel advisor, which has also been around a long time but mainly for, for CPU. And I'll go into a, a few of those features a little bit later, but, but the, the, CP, the, the, the GPU feature, feature side by side, we have, we have, again, Offload Advisor, which is gonna find those high impact opportunities to offload. It's gonna detect what all your bottlenecks are and what, what are your bounding factors? Are you bounded by, ultimately, are you bounded by compute? Are you bounded by, by, by memory? Are you bounded by your cache? What is it? What is it? That, that characterizes your application that's, that's going to be what you need to focus on from the performance perspective. So really, you can, with Offload Advisor, you can get your code ready, even if you don't have uh, GPU and you haven't even started um, um, making, that, making that migration to GPU. This is going to give you the, basically, is it even worth um, making, making the effort? So, so that's, that's Offload Advisor in a nutshell. And then Roofline Analysis, again, it's been around for for quite a while, tons of research being being done with roofline analysis. Uh, Advisor supported CPU uh, roofline for a, for quite a while, but but lately we've put in the feature, the work to, to do um, GPU roofline. You know, and again, roofline can basically allow you to kind of kind of come up with a strategy um, to optimize. So what so what are the the maximum limits of of your GPU, and and, and where do your kernels line up? As far as those maximums are concerned, so depending upon where you are, depending upon when, whether you're memory bound or, or compute bound, your strategies are going to be going to be completely different. Um, we put a lot of nice features in Advisor, so as you as you progress through your optimization, you can basically 
compare roof line charts on the fly. Are you making any progress? Are you, are you making it worse? Um, so that, that, is, that is our roof line analysis feature. And then I, I just wanted to mention flow graph analyzer really quick. Um, we, can, we can run your, your data policy plus plus code and basically generate some nice charts as far as what are, what are your dependencies? Um, are you doing anything that's, that's inherently bad as far as are you, are you basically declaring memory or you're copying memory to your, to your GPU that you're not aware of? Um, uh, flow graph analyzer is gonna, is gonna point those things out. Then on the right hand side, we have our, you know, the flagship V2 profiler, um, but we put a lot of features in there for GPU. The first one is, is offload, offload performance tuning. So basically how is your CPU in your GPU interacting? Inter, interacting. So at, at what points are your, is your GPU stalling? Um, at, at what points is, is the GPU waiting for your, for your, for your CPU? Is, is there anything in there that, that's basically slowing things down either on your CPU side or, or, or your GPU side? How do things, how do things correlate? Correlating in VTune is, 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 one of the, is one of the really, really nice features. One of the recent features of VTune that, that's independent of, of GPU is HPU's, HPC performance characterization. So many, many HPC applications out there have been using OpenMP. They're going to continue to use OpenMP. They don't want to move from OpenMP. So VTune, VTune really supports that really, really nicely. So what we've done for GPU is we, we've extended OpenMP the, the OpenMP analysis so that, so that it supports um, OpenMP offload. So basically out of the box, if you do an HPC performance characterization using VTune, it's gonna come up there and give you some metrics for, uh, for your offload, how much data you're transferring, and just, just basically some really nice features that, 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 that lend itself to, um, to OpenMP uh, programming. And then finally, we have our uh, GPU hotspots. GPU hotspots is gonna give you the deepest dive and basically tell you um, ultimately what, what are your bottlenecks in, inside inside of your kernels. And I better speed up a little bit here, or I am going to I am going to run out of time. So let's go into let's go into VTune. Just kind of a quick overview. Um, again, this is this is basically the um, the standard GUI inside of VTune. Where do you want to analyze? Do you want to analyze your local host or your remote or your remote host? Do you want to launch an application? Do you want to analyze your system? Um, do you want to attach onto an application? What type of analysis do you want to do? In my case here, I'm, I'm choosing uh, GPU offload, but I have a, a whole menu of options um, that I can choose. That again, if you want to reach out to me, I'm happy to kind of give you some, some a, a little bit deeper discussion about, about what you can do with VTune. And of course, um, a lot of HPC programmers out there, um, they don't use GUIs. You know, they basically, they just want to use the command line. They're happy on the command line. Um, and we do we do support all of that, and um, the help facility inside of VTune is is really quite good. All these slides are available, um, um, so you have access to all this, these slides for for reference as well. So let's go into the first feature inside of VTune that supports um, the GPU. And this one here is GPU offload, as you can see on the right hand right hand side. Uh, once you do your analysis. We give you a lot of recommendations. You know, VTune is basically not just going to give you the, you know, the, the raw data counts. You have access to all those data counts. Uh, if you're familiar with performance counters, all that is available to you. We've really tried to abstract that and to kind of give you um, a higher level um, breakdown about um, about um, metrics uh, for your GPU, and all of those are available all available to you. And, and, and what what we recommend in order to um, to optimize optimize your system. It kind of, uh, kind of go into to the little bit deeper discussion about, about offload. Um, the, uh, the summary screen gives you, the, gives you a lapse time, gives you um, what your GPU, GPU usage percentage is, gives you the hottest um, computing tasks. And then once, once you drill down, you can kind of get a breakdown of your, of your computing tasks, what your work sizes are, uh, what, the, what the times are. How does that how does that workload look across the timeline? Uh, what parts are you active on your, your CPU? Which parts are you active on your on your GPU? And you can basically one of the really nice features in VTune is the ability to filter. Um, you can focus on a, a particular part part of the timeline. 
um, and really drill down into into what's happening uh, during that during that time interval. Then I, I mentioned um, HPC performance characterization. This is a relatively new feature um, that I definitely wanted to kind of at least at least mention here. If you're familiar with the, the CPU side for um, performance characterization, basically um, before we added the GPU feature, you basically see the top part of the screen. Um, uh, the bottom part is going to give you all of that GPU information um, as far as your EUs, are they, how, what percentage are they active, what percentage are they stalled, what percentage are they idle, um, what's the occupancy, again, some critical metrics. As far as offload, what is your compute time, what is the data transfer, is there any overhead? You know, OpenMP uh, by definition has overhead associated, associated with it. And again, what are your OpenMP offload regions that you're um, that you're uploading? So that's all I'm going to talk about HPC performance characterization. I can go into it more um, during our hands-on, but the next feature is um, uh, media hotspots, or what I just basically call um, hotspots. Hotspots again is going to give you the deepest dive. Um, again, some of the metrics is our elapsed time, uh, percentage of percentage of time that your the, the EUs are are stalled. What is your L3 L3 bandwidth? What are your, your the hottest computing tasks? And again, you can drill down into into some of the some of the deeper analysis here. This is um, one of the one of the nicer features that we've added for GPU um, hotspots. Basically, you can get an architectural diagram, how much memory is being transferred at each at each level. The bottom part of the screen is going to give you the, that deep dive into computing tasks. How many threads are generated? How many? Um, what is your uh, what is your EU look like? I'm not showing the complete screen here, but there's there in the demo. I can I can go I can go into that at a at a much deeper level. And again, um, going to, to, to some of the other tabs um, on the um, GPU hotspots, you can basically see that deep dive when when you look at the platform, see how everything correlates. Uh, for example, is your are your EUs active when when memory is not active? I mean, what is what's going on with memory that's causing um, what's going on with reuse that that are that are calling that are causing your stalls? It, is it is it because you're waiting on memory? Obviously, that's that could be that that could be an obvious um, thing that you want to look into. Is it L3? Is it you know what is it as far as memory that, that that's causing the that's causing the bottleneck? Ultimately, um, VTune is the developer's tool. Um, by clicking on the on the, the, the those kernels, you can get that. Uh, you can basically go right to the source to see what's going on in your kernels uh, at a line by line, instruction by instruction that are that are causing that are causing the um, that are causing the bottlenecks. Again, at the source level. Let's switch gears here and talk about Advisor. So, so again, Advisor has been around a long time, really some nice features that support um, HPC developers. Uh, the first one is Upload Advisor. Uh, we, I've been talking about that for, for a little bit here. here. Uh, next one is Groupline Analysis. I'll talk about these, these, next, these next three buckets here because um, I'm just gonna mention these briefly because again, this, this, this talk is, uh, focused on um, on GPU analysis, but the middle bucket there is vectorization optimization. Uh, one of the one of the nice CPU features of Advisor is it basically tells you um, what's happening as far as vectorization on 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 the CPU side. What's your vectorization efficiency? What um what loops are vectorized? What loops aren't vectorized? What's why wasn't the compiler able to vectorize your loop? Is there something in there that you can give that you can recommend th that I do to, to get that loop to vectorize? Um, again, vectorization um, optimization is, is one of the bread and butters of Advisor. It's the, really the deep dive into vectorization. Then we have thread prototyping. If you wanted to use Advisor um, on the thread prototyping side, you can analyze your code in the CPU and basically um, get Advisor to, to basically um, tell you. Where you're not um, where you're not threaded as well as you as well as you could be. 
And then advisor has some nice features to do like a what if analysis. What if, what if I did thread this, this code here? What if, what if I reorganized my, my, um, my code, changed my algorithm and, and added input and I basically changed my, my, my work set size. Um, does the code become more efficient uh, when, I, when I did that? Think of it, think of that part as a, as a what if analysis tool. And then built heterogeneous algorithms. I, I've mentioned flow graph analyzer a couple of times. Um, and that's, that's where that comes in. So let's go into the deep dive of offload modeling with uh, Intel Advisor. So when you think of offload modeling, you're basically running your code on your Xeon and basically trying to predict how that code will run on your GPU. Recently, we, we've extended this so that so we also have the ability to, to predict how, how, how your code that is currently running on your, on your CPU and GPU and predict how that would run on another GPU. So, so we, all, we also support that. If you, if you have code that's already running on a GPU and you wanted to see how it would run on this other GPU, you, you, also, have, you also have that ability. So let's go into to, to the, to the right-hand side here a little bit. So in this case here, we, we, we've, run, we've run Advisor. As you can see, in the middle part, we have some of the program metrics. Originally, my, my code ran in 23 seconds, but Advisor is predicting that it would be accelerated to, to seven seconds. So that's actually a, uh, quite, a bit of, quite a bit of speed up. The MDOS law speed up um, is, is three times. If you're familiar with the MDOS law, uh, you're ultimately gonna, going to be bounded by how much of the code is serial and how much of the code is parallel. So the fraction of the, of the, of the accelerated code here um, is 100%. Again, this, this is just a, this is just a, a simple example. It's going to give you what are the loops that we recommend that you offload to your, to your GPU. And what is that, is that kernel um, Going to be accelerated by uh, what was the time on CPU? What was the time on GPU? What do we estimate that you're going to be bounded by? In our case here, uh, we rec where we, we basically see that you're going to be bounded by LLC bandwidth. And again, there's, there's a ton of metrics here that, that, that we'll go into. But as you can see on the right hand side, um, we're bounded by LLC. That's why you see that, that orange circle. In most cases, um, this, is just a, this is just one example. Uh, in a lot of cases, you're going to see a breakdown where you're partially bound by compute, partially bound by L3, partially bound by LLC, and, and, and so on. And then on the right-hand side, also you see top non-offloaded. So what wasn't profitable to offload and why? I mean, is there is just, just, just not enough iterations? I mean, what? It, it's, it's really possible that a kernel wasn't able to be offloaded and um, you might have you might have expected it to be offloaded, but the advisor can give you those those reasons why it doesn't think it's profitable for the CPU that for, I'm sorry for the GPU that you selected. So it's possible that th those kernels would be profitable on another GPU. Kind of kind of um, digging a little deeper just to see what these um, what some of these some of these metrics actually um, actually, actually look like. We've talked about some of these things before, so I'm going to go through this really quick. By clicking on some of the um, some of the other links, in this case here, um, we're looking at the offloaded um, uh, the offloaded kernels, offloaded loops. There's a ton of metrics here. Some of our basic metrics. You can see where we're offloaded. You can see what we're what we're bounded by. You can see how much data was to, had to be transferred in order to get that that um that kernel to your, to your GPU. Obviously, th that data transfer, again, that's a critical metric. Sometimes that might be the reason why, why advisor thinks that you, you wouldn't be able to offload it because there's too much data we need to be transferred to, um, to make it profitable. Again, there's a ton of metrics here that I, that I don't have on the screen, um, but, but again, uh, you'd be able to see um, what your memory bandwidth is, what your cache bandwidth is, um, and again, all these. This is all. This is all modeling. I mean, none of this code is running on your GPU. And again, you do have you have the ability to to do that that hybrid approach to analyze code um, that's running on both currently 
But in this case here, this code was purely running on, on CPU and I'm predicting how it would run on GPU. Let's go into GPU um, roofline. Um, a lot of you are probably familiar what a roofline chart is. Basically, it's gonna show what the, what the system maximums are on your system. I'm showing a CPU roofline here. Uh, what advisor does on, on CPU and GPU is it, it basically fires off micro benchmarks. All these, these maximums, they're not hard coded. They're basically the maximums that advisor is detecting by running, by running our benchmarks. And then we have um, your kernels overlaid on that chart. Um, so really you can see what the bottlenecks are um, and what was, what's the likely cause of the bottleneck? What are the next steps? What is the strategy? for optimizing in your, in your application. As far as the screen is concerned here, um, those red dots are the ones that are your primary bottlenecks. You also have other bottlenecks that are, that are um, again, you're not taking too much time, so they're not, uh, they're not as big as bottlenecks. It's probably not what you wanna focus on first, but as far as what your, the good optimization candidates are, the likely, Bottleneck is the is a roof line that you're, that you're that you're closest to. I mean that's basically just the, the simplest way to way to explain it. The further you are from the from the from the roof, the more that you um the more headroom you have to to optimize. So again, we've mentioned strategies a couple times. Um, what is your what is your performance? What what are your what are your uh, poor performing loops? Again, for, for GPU roofline, your code here is running on your on, on your GPU. All this, all these metrics are are taken directly from from your from your Intel GPU, and it's going to suggest what your next steps are. There's a lot of recommendations built in into the into the GPU roofline now. It's going to give you what that what that headroom is. Obviously, if you if you, if you click on that kernel, um, you can go up to the system maximum and basically see. I'm currently getting um, X amount of gigaflops or X amount of giga, uh, um, int ops. And we, we, just, we predict if you were to optimize this to the ultimate, you, you could see in this case here, um, a, a given amount of, of performance. And moving on to, um, to, to what this looks like on your, on your on your, G, on your GPU, you have you know, DRAM bandwidth, GTI bandwidth, uh, shared local memory, L3, all of those are coming from your, from, your, from your GPU. This is really tailorable. Um, you can basically display which, whatever metrics, whatever um, groups that you'd like to. Um, you can basically uh, filter down, uh, basically um, give floats or give ints. Um, all of this is really, really, really flexible. This is all integrated into, into the advisor GUI, but how I often do this is, is I, I don't, I basically just generate an HTML page. And the, the HTML pages that advisor generates, they're really self-contained. You can share that with your coworkers. Um, it really provides a really convenient way to, to basically have all that data on, on just an HTML page. So you can just view this in your, in your browser and it, it works really, really nicely. So I think I've, I've basically timed this perfectly, <laughs> but in summary, um, as you can see, uh, uh, Advisor and Vtune have a lot of features as far as using the GUI and using the, using the command line to, um, to generate these reports. And obviously, depending upon what you want to do, you'd want to choose, you'd want to choose the specific um, analysis types that, that basically um, allows you to, to basically optimize for your given application. And I hope everyone can join me for the hands-on um, I'm really if I'm in, in this in this next session here as the other vendors come on, I'm gonna go back to my Slack channel and I'll I'll try to answer all the questions. You know, and really if, if if anyone does have some ideas from the Slack channel, I'm happy to to kind of go into those features during the um, during the breakout. But I thank you for your time. And Jay Hook, I'll I'll pass it back to you. Oh, thank you, Kevin. Yeah, it is great timing, right? So you give a very nice <laughs> Nice quick uh, introduction. Yeah, uh, 
as Kevin said, uh, Intel Feature Advisor has a lot of features. So uh, yeah, making this brief uh, presentation is uh, much tougher than having longer presentation, I think. Okay. So I think we have a couple of more minutes. Uh, uh, do you guys have any questions, Kevin? You can, if so, we can discuss it a little bit. Absolutely. Any, any questions? I'm, I'm happy to um, uh, take that couple minutes or again if people are more comfortable in the slack channel that's that's fine too yeah okay